the water splashes around in a peaceful one island lake park and a boat rests tied to this brand new wooden dock a dock that looked like this three weeks ago. This winter, all the extra snow that we had, the uh, snowplow come in and he didn't see the dock. And with the grader, it's a mighty pushing power. And he actually uh, damaged the dock. Harry was in desperate need of help. He sent several calls out to BC Parks. They said the dock wasn't in their budget. From there, he needed a miracle. And then he thought about calling his guardian angel friend, Carl. Corporate uh, guardian angel come along and said, I will fix that for you guys. So Carl accepted Harry's challenge to rebuild the dock. Harry and Jerry are awesome out here and they've been good to us ever since we've been out here. It took his crew three days at no cost to build what you see quietly resting in the water. They brought the wrecked dock out of the water and refurbished 20 feet of the old dock and built a 16 foot addition. I said I, I got mobile welder that could come out and got a carpenter and We'll just do it in the back back 40 over here. And uh, Jerry said, well, Harry said, well, if you want to do that, you go right ahead. This dock is a main focal point for park operation. Oftentimes, boats are tied against it. Fishers are sitting on it trying to land a big prize and swimmers will dive off it. A lot of people use this dock, both the cabin owners, uh, and, uh, the community and also the public from Grand Prairie, Port St. John and all over. To avoid another greater mishap, it now has four pins that can be taken out when it needs to be moved, providing lots of space for the grader to get through. It was just something that he wanted to do, they wanted to do, I should say. Eric Tashner, CJDC TV News, One Island Lake.